about something, a topic called um, um, the enemy manifesto. God, Jesus was the one who created this sense of awareness that about the enemy manifesto. When we say manifesto, what is your understanding? Manifesto means God telling something to you in a way that we should follow it. So if, uh, if you look at the world of politics, if a politician comes and he wants to become a prime minister of a, a president of a country, he come up with a manifesto. The manifesto is what he has in mind to be able to do when he gets the power. You understand? So he goes around doing campaign all over the country yeah. to tell them, if you give me your vote and you give me the power, this is what I will do. Some will say, I will create a new road. Some will say, I will create schools and everything. So when we examine the manifesto, then we feel that this politician has the right to be able to deserve my vote because votes the very vote that i will give it to him it will allow him to do something great for the country at large but in jesus case jesus taught us the satan manifesto please go to john chapter 10. john chapter 10 verse number 10. John chapter 10. John chapter 10, verse number 10. Verse number 10 is goes as yes. the thief does not come except. Jesus said the thief does not what? The thief does not come ex uh, except to steal. The thief does not come except to what? Steal. Okay. And to kill. And to kill. And to destroy. So when you go to sleep. Do you close your door or you leave it open? I will close it. Why? Because uh, I have some uh, important uh, things in my home. Right. Which I consider is important. You consider it's important? Yeah. So you close it from who? From inside. So you close it so that if any robber or thief comes around, because the door is closed, they don't find it easy to break in. Break in. But if the door is open, what happens? Door is open, the thief can get easily and uh, sneak out with the things. Many people doors are open. Open. Okay. Many people doors are open. And Jesus said, uh, the thief comes to do what? To steal. Steal. To do what? To uh, kill. And to ki do what? To destroy. So Jesus gave us the glimpse of the enemy manifesto. Yes. So who is the enemy here? The enemy is Satan. Satan. So his manifesto is to steal you from who? From, from the knowledge, of, knowledge God. of God. The moment the enemy succeeds in stealing you from the knowledge of God, you become what? A, a thief. You become his victim. His victim. It can begin to mess you, memorize, uh, it mess you up left and right, left and right. because now you belong to him. Yes. So the Bible said, for my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God wants you to come back home. He wants you to come and have a relationship with him. 
the longer your door is open, the longer the enemy takes advantage of you. After and the second manifesto, is, he said what? I have come that. No, no. Uh, he said the thief comes and do what? Steal. To kill, to steal and to kill. So after he has stolen you, after the, uh, he has stolen you from the grace of God, his end goal is to kill. Is to kill you. And to destroy. Destroy. Many people, the enemy, because they have left the confinement of their home, they have fallen into the enemy manifesto. The reason why you give your vote to the politician by the virtue of their manifesto is allow them to function well. So Jesus said, the thief comes to do what? To steal. And to do what? To kill. And to do what? And to destroy. This is the enemy manifesto. Don't leave your doors open. How do you leave your doors open? How do you? Leave your doors open. Without building it? Yeah. Without when you any, leave any your protection. doors open, when you become tired, tired, when you are not paying attention, attention anymore, some people are not appreciating the grace of God. Jesus died in horrible death in order to restate you and I back to God. The enemy is looking for many souls to destroy. Enemy is trying to destroy. Enemy is looking for many souls, souls. to do what? To destroy. To destroy. Don't give your soul to the enemy. The enemy manifest. But when you read the B part, what did Jesus say? I have come that Jesus said I have come even though the enemy has his manifesto he said I have what I have come I have come that they may have life they who are they those who have lost they who have lost Jesus is talking about us he said I have come that they may have life they may have life and what and that they may have it more abundantly so the life jesus given to you is unlimited life, unlimited life. that they have come, have come that they may have it in abundance. abundance what jesus wants to give it to you no prophet can give you that jesus wants to give you eternal life don't fall for the enemy manifesto go to matthew chapter 13 verse 24 the enemy manifesto is to make you weaker and make you black. Matthew chapter? Uh, 13 verse 24. This is it. 24. Matthew chapter 13 verse 24. 13 verse 24. Another parable he put forth to them. Jesus is a man who is a good storyteller. The uniqueness of Jesus' ministry it consists on his parable and storytelling. The, right. king, the kingdom of heaven so is... So Jesus said the kingdom of what? Heaven. Heaven. is like a man. What, a, what, is, what does that mean? The kingdom of heaven is it's like, like a, a man. man. Okay. Who sowed good seeds in his field. Who sowed? You see now we are standing next to a field. So Jesus said the kingdom of God is like a man. You can be that man. I can be that man. Who sow a what? Good seed. A good seed. What is a good seed in your understanding? Good seed is uh, good. Uh, the for, the true following of the word of God. Mm. So Jesus said, the enemy manifesto is to pull you out from Jesus and give you something different in return. Everything Jesus has ever wished for is to give you eternal life. Eternal life. But you need to be able to embrace the very life by acknowledging Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. Savior. So Jesus said the enemy came and saw what? 
but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears. Whilst men slept, the enemy does what? Came and uh, sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. Some people don't know why they have left Jesus and gone for different things. They were sleeping, spiritually sleeping. Sleeping. Whilst men slept, every time you go to sleep, yeah, you realize that when you go to sleep after a hard day job and your body hit on the note and you are tired, if anybody walk into the very place, you cannot physically you cannot see them because this body is tired from hard day work. So Jesus said, whilst men slept, the enemy did what? Enemy uh, sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. He went his way. Enemy went his way. What see did enemy? When the enemy came, he came to sow. <coughs> he said, "Don't forget what we are talking about. The enemy manifests. The enemy comes and sow what? Tears. Now from John 10:30, he said, the enemy comes to steal." Steal, to kill to kill and to destroy destroy so most of you you have received a wrong different doctrines you are falling for a wrong ideology you have left the confinement of jesus jesus who saved your soul you have left him and go for a foreign doctrine but the bible said whilst men slept many are sleeping they can't read through the uh, they, they, are, they cannot read through the, the the message they are receiving the foreign teachings and the teachings of christ whilst men slept Slip. the enemy did what the enemy sowed tears among the wheat and went his way <coughs> so look at this if you sow wheat and you sow rice they sound simple you understand? Hey, you coming with us? No, sorry. You see, when the soul sees, yeah, what happens is he is growing. So the Bible said the enemy who walk into your space has come to sow so tears. And did what? And went his way. And went his way. And went his way. But when the grain has sprouted and produced a crop, when the grain has what sprouted, sprouted, and produced a crop, and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. Who saw the tares? The tares were sown by the devil, the enemy. So ask yourself, many people, the enemy has sown tares. <coughs> the tares sowed by the enemy. Enemy. Please go on. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you know, did you not sow good seed in mm -hmm. your field? How then does it have tears? Mm -hmm. He said to them, An enemy has done this. The enemy he has, has done, done this. this. <laughs> the enemy has done what? Then <coughs> put sowed tears among the wheat. The tears is confusion. Tears is confusion. Tells is a foreign doctrine. Foreign doctrine. When tells comes, you see, it sets confusion within your walls. Within you. Jesus, when we say Jesus, Jesus said, "I am the way, the, the truth, truth. and the life." When tells is so within your heart, you don't see, you don't acknowledge Jesus is the way. He said, and the enemy did what? Car carry on. And uh, how then does it have tears? He said to How them, then the tears are now coming into my space? He said to them. He said to them. An enemy has done this. The enemy has done this. Done this. The trouble you have, we have is you are falling into the enemy manif uh, manifesto. Manifesto. Don't give your vote to the enemy. Give your vote to Jesus. Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. to Jesus. And sow a good seed. 
when you give your heart to Jesus, Jesus will keep it in a perfect peace. Perfect. Jesus will keep your heart. He is expert of keeping the heart of men and women in perfect peace. Amen. He said, for my yoke is easy. easy. Jesus will teach you the language of true love. Amen. Jesus will teach you the language of patience. Jesus will give you joy. Joy. Amen. Jesus will hold your hand when the challenge of life throws at you. He is a friend who never leaves you. John chapter 12, I think so. Read uh, John chapter jo 14, verse 23. The joy Listen to what Jesus is saying. 14 verse 23. 23. And uh, oh, this is John. John 14, verse 23. 14, 23. Jesus answered and said to him, mm -hmm. If anyone loves me, Jesus said, You see why I said, When you give your vote to him, he will preserve you. Preserve. Your heart is the most important part of us. Amen. You know, when he fell in love, when he fell in love with your wife or your missus, or you saw a lady you like and you said, oh, give me a chance. I'll, I'll, want to, I'll be a good man. I'll be a good, you know, if you husband. give me a chance, husband. You understand? So give me a chance. The lady will be listening to everything you are saying and said, oh, this guy, maybe I should really give him a chance. What you are saying is, give me your heart. And when that lady gives her heart, she has given you the best part in her. The heart is a seat of government. You can't play with people's hearts. So when you give your heart to Jesus, Jesus, make sure. John has given him his heart. So let me protect the heart. You know what is called the language of forgiveness when your heart is given to Jesus. You know what is called patient, endurance, when your heart is given to Jesus. Jesus can be trusted. Read the, uh, uh, verse 14, 23, where you are reading. Okay. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him. What did he say? We will come to him. Who and who? Father and the Son. You see, trying language. Jesus said, we will come to him. To him. And what? He and make our home with him. Amen. Give your heart, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. We will come. And when Jesus comes to your heart, he comes with his what? Father. His Father, Father. and his peace. And because God the Father, the Son, and the Son. God the Father, God is his Father, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. He come with the Father. Father. People don't understand the triune nature. You see, the triune language, we serve God through Jesus by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus is our sacrifice. And the Holy Spirit helps us to know who Jesus is. It's not difficult to understand. It's like your mind, your thought, and your words. Your, your mind, your thought, and your words. What's the difference? Your mind, your thought, and your words. Is it different? No. Are they separate from each other? No. Or the coming Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? All that's coming from the same person. It's not difficult. It is not difficult. So read the last two verse. If you so Jesus, the satanic read uh, the Acts chapter 13, 
let's take you from verse 8 come out chapter 30 8 but elimas the sorcerer this is very important we are dealing with the enemy manifest this is something happening here i want to let the good people who are listening to understand that we'll bring <coughs> we'll bring our session to an end please read it carefully read it carefully uh, acts chapter 13 13 words 8 yeah. but elimas the sorcerer oh, go to verse 7 okay okay read, read from oh, this four read from Really well for me. Okay. So, be uh, chapter thirteen, verse four. Mm -hmm. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, Paul was being sent out by who? By the Holy Spirit. By who? By the Holy Spirit. So, when we say the Holy Spirit is God, it's not difficult. Paul was sent out by who? By the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, please go on. They went down to Cilicia. They went down to a place called Cilicia, yeah. And from there, they sailed to Cyprus. And from there, they were in the missionary trip. To Cyprus. From there, they went to Cyprus. Okay. And when they arrived at uh, Salamis, and when they arrived at their very location, yes, they preached the word of God. In the, the word synagogue. of God was known to the community of the Jews. <coughs> of the Jews. They also had John as their assistant. John was also their assistant. As, yes. Now, when they had gone through the island, when they have gone through the island to Papos, to Papos, yes, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet. They find who? A certain sorcerer. They find who? A sorcerer. A certain who? Sorcerer, a false prophet. Who was an enemy to the gospel? Gospel. You understand? Amen. Remember, the enemy agenda is to deprive you from the beauty of God's word. Because the gospel is a re remedy that heals the heart. The gospel is a remedy that brings sanity. The gospel promotes a strong community. The gospel takes away specks on your eyes. The gospel makes you appreciate the work on the cross. The gospel provides salvation in return. The gospel brings understanding and love between you and your family. The gospel allows a man who wants to kill somebody drop the knife on the floor. But there was an enemy who is what? A sorcerer, a false prophet. A sorcerer and a false prophet. prophet. Who is who is a sorcerer? Who do witchcraft, magic? Make people believe Make people lies. Believe. Make people believe lies. When you are talking about the truth of God, the agenda is to hijack the truth and make people believe lies. So a sorcerer, please read it. Sorcerer, a false prophet. A, a false prophet, not a true prophet. Okay, all right. A Jew whose name was Bar Jesus. My, this time around, so when you hear people talking about Jesus, 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 don't fall for that. This was a Jew. His name is called Bar what? Jesus. It's, he holds the title of Jesus. Jesus. But he was a false prophet. He's a prophet. Who was with the pro council? Who was with the pro council? Because he's a false, he has money to hold a big position in the community. A false prophet in the community. Okay. Sergius Paulus, mm -hmm. an intelligent man. Right. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. This man called for Barnabas and Saul or Paul to hear what? The word of God. To hear the word, the word of, of God. God. Okay. But Elimas the sorcerer. Elimas, who was called the bar, bar Jesus, Jesus, who was a, a false prophet, who was what? A, a sorcerer. sorcerer. Okay. Which stood them. Which stood them. Seeking to turn the pro council away from the faith. Did you see that? The enemy? Yes. The enemy manifesto. Which stood them. What does that mean? What does which. <coughs> <coughs> What does withstood then mean? Withstood means he, whatever he was telling is true, he was standing on that. Withstood, you see, when you have an army who comes here and said, we will not allow you to pass this place. Withstood. So the 
false prophet in the person of Alimas by Jesus we stood them the gospel that the pro council was listening oh they okay spiritually he's blocking so that it, it wouldn't go have its rightful entrance in the heart did you understand that understand. okay please go on seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith seeking to tell who is seeking to turn your you from the true gospel of jesus Christ. the false prophet this one is a proconsul Maybe you, many of you, you have been deceived. They turn you away from the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come back home. Come back home. Denounce everything that you have allowed. The force that has gone in. Denounce it and give Jesus your heart. Amen. Let Jesus become comfortable in your heart. Amen. Read it again. Uh, this man called Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God, but Elimas the sorcerer withstood them. The Elimas the sorcerer withstood them. Withstood them. Seeking to turn the pro -counsel. Seeking to turn the what? Pro council. The pro council. Away from the faith. Away from the faith. faith. Enemy manifesto. We brought this to your attention for you to know the enemy manifesto is to steal you away from the true teachings of Christ. The enemy manifesto is to make sure that the salvation in Christ you will not attain. The enemy manifesto in the end, when you buy into the enemy manifesto, he will kill you in the end. He will tell you the gospel was preached to you, but you didn't pay attention. You understand that? You know, we love you so very much. We love you. You know, what will you say to the good people about the you know, enemy manifest? We stood them and did what? And, and tried to turn away, turn the pro council away from the faith. Turn the pro council away from the faith. Who is turning you away from the faith? The false prophet. <laughs> Jesus is the way, the truth. The and the life. No one goes except to Please come to the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a place for you. Jesus, is, Jesus needs you. Jesus wants to make your family better and healthy again. Jesus wants you to know that is a real deal. Tell them something. Just in a night. One minute, just tell them something. Thank you. Today, today we have learned about how if you sow a good seed, you have to take care of it. Mm. And the place where it was sown, it was your heart. And Jesus should come into your heart. And the enemy who is looking that if you are not the enemy is looking that if you are unknowing or you are tired but but don't let your faith go down don't let enemy come be attentive be prayerful with the help of the holy spirit so that you can take care of your door which has to be closed every time from the false prophet so that it cannot withstand or shake our faith. Be confident in our Lord who has sown a good seed in our heart. Let not that be taken away if, if we lacking the knowledge of true God. Thank you. Thank you very once again, myself and my good friend, to serve you this evening. We want you to know we love you so very much and uh, we appreciate you so very much for the needed time that you and the comments you bring along. If 
our series has been a great help. Please comment it on the uh, comment it if our if our series has also give you some great insight please come a lot rich in blessing and make sure you lean on the holy spirit trust god don't lean on your own understanding and trust uh, trust the living god and subscribe to the revelation channel god bless you so much